Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in one of my favorite games ever. This game practically got me through my childhood. Every little problem I ever had, this game solved. Although I can't say I had too many problems. Wait, is that the, the developer's name Jack and Beans? <laughs> oh, that is like the second funniest developer name you could ever possibly have. And, oh god, I remember this cutscene as a kid. It was so like awe-inspiring. It was it was literally the best thing I had ever seen at the time. And I don't think I've ever seen anything since then that's actually impressed me quite this much. And I'm not I'm not impressed by 3D graphics in the least. I, I, I was never impressed by 3D graphics even at the time like Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time those underwhelmed me as a child but this this was like it was like oh my god I cannot even describe how excited I was to finally see all of my favorite Pokemon at the time as a kid in 3D and it was like it was like Phew! this was before I had ever played Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2 and this this is a favorite of mine. I cannot stress that enough. Anyways, we're going to start and I'm going to name my photographer Viking because uh, that is who I am. Yes, that, that is that is that is my name now. And oh, hey Professor Oak. I haven't seen you in a while since I watched a really glitchy opening to Pokemon Puzzle League. Now, I don't remember anything about this game, so I'm a little lost. All I remember is I absolutely loved it as a kid, so this whole video and the series of videos will be me trying to remember everything that I that, hap that I experienced and went through as a child, but also me reliving it myself. So, like, you, you get the experience from me as a as a six-year-old but also me as a as an adult oh sorry I accidentally hit a derp I was so focused on me talking course beach let's go I I don't I don't remember too many of the Pokemon locations and I don't remember all of the Pokemon that are in this uh crap uh, well, it's the, oh, it's the, it's the Z button. It's the Z button. Um, oh, it's inverted! Oh, man, it's inverted! Oh, man, it's inverted! Oh, man, it's inverted! Oh, God! Oh, dear sweet Jesus! Dear sweet baby Jesus! It's inverted! <laughs> Oh, my. oh, hey, Doduo. I always wanted a Doduo. I don't think I ever caught one in uh, in blue. I wish I did catch a Doduo because I don't know. Because I'm Batman. Uh. Hey, hey, fat ass. Hey, 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 wake up. Wake up. No, no, no sleeping on the job. Oh, man, I wish I had some apples. Oh man, I wish I had some apples right now. Af actually, you know what? No, actually, I think I'm gonna eat like three apples after this. Now that I think about it, apples sound so good right now. Oh my god, I remember so little of this game, and oh my, I did, I entirely forgot that the controls were inverted. Because that, that was the thing at the time, actually, with Nintendo, is a lot of the controls for their games were were inverted. Um, I think GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, by default, had inverted controls. Or at least they had weird ones. I remember not being able to get used to either game when I first played it, because... Oh, no, I already have a Doduo. Hey, guys. Uh, damn it, I got a shot from behind. Oh, <gasps> Eevee. It's weird, I almost remember the game, like, stopping every time you get a photo. I, I don't know if that's just me remembering things the way they weren't, or... Or what, I'm not too sure. But, 
I, I remember it stopping like every time you snap a photo out of Pokemon, it would like stop and it'd show their name, but that might be after you clear a level. Oh my god, there's something in there. There is something. Oh, what's in there? Is it is it Magikarp? I think it's the Magikarp are in there or something. I remember you like throw a pester ball or an apple into the water and something pops out. I'm not sure what it was. 14 pictures have been taken. Uh, choose which pictures. I think um, I think that one's a little bit better than the other. Uh, but anyways, this this level, this game. I mean, this <laughs> derp. This game is is one of the things that really helped me as a as a child, because every time I had an issue at school, I would. I didn't own this game, but I constantly rented it as a kid. And every time I had an issue at school, it was pretty much instantly resolved by playing this. It was like, like all my issues seemed pretty much non-existent after just a couple minutes of this. So it, it was, it, it's definitely an important game to me as, as it really helped me through a lot of, lot of issues. Oh damn it! Ooh, that's that's a nice pose. Nice. Now remember, it's been a long time since I've actually played this, so I, I can't exactly get the the points I used to be the scores I used to be able to get. But actually, that's that's impressive. I don't think I've ever gotten too good on on the first level at all, as a, even as a kid. I, I do remember I used to be able to get pretty much perfect in most cases. I, I used to be able to get each Pokemon in the game square right in the middle, and wow, I I don't know why I remember this having it so it would like stop uh, every time you took a photo. I, I don't know why it's it's just weird. It's maybe I'm thinking of Fatal Frame because Fatal Frame every time you take a, a like you snap a photo of a ghost in Fatal Frame. It will stop and it will display the name of the ghost on screen. Actually, what's really weird is, speaking of Fatal Frame, this is a, this is a very kind of a funny story. I actually have an EG an, an issue of EGM Electronic Gaming Monthly that that talks about the first Fatal Frame and how the developers initially pitched it to Capcom, who laughed at it, calling it Resident Evil Snap. <laughs> And I'm like, man, if only you guys knew that these guys did a better job than you ever did. <laughs> you guys coined the term survival horror and these dudes perfected it. But anyways, back to the game and so far actually I'm I'm feeling the levels are really short burst, like like kinda like the the um kinda like Super Mario Brothers 3 compared to Super Mario World. Well, Super Mario World had really long levels that, you know, had alternate paths and all sorts of different stuff to do. Super Mario Brothers 3 had rather short levels, and this sort of reflects that. It's the short levels that you can play in quick bursts, which is why I think, should they ever make a sequel, they should definitely put this on the 3DS. Now, I need to get a better score. So... I'm going to be a little more on the ball here. I, be I, I believe there's like an acceleration button. Is that is that an important thing to do? Is that, is that important? Um, oh crap. Uh, I, I know I have to get like a specific score. And I'm not sure what it is. But I think I'm going to try to get it there. Oh right, yeah. You you throw an apple and Pikachu gets onto that surfboard there. That's uh, that's cool. I I remember being that like that was like. I remember that was uh, one of the big things as a kid. Well, it was it was like it was so cool just seeing that like, okay, Pikachu has been my favorite Pokemon since forever, and I I hate to be the kind of person that's like, oh Pikachu, I was I was like fan since number since day number one, and I, I hate to be like. I hated being one of the kids that, one of the few kids that loved Pikachu. 
over everyone else. Because everyone was like, oh, but Pikachu is so lame. Charizard's cooler. But you know what? No, fuck it. Pikachu. Pikachu is my homeboy. I, I just went on about nothing for like five minutes because I had nothing worthwhile to say. <laughs> oh. Nope, nope. Get, get in the middle. Get in the middle. There we go. Oh. Another lap risk picture. Oh, damn it. I missed it. Oh, man. And there's a Scyther and... I think there's a Scyther and a Pinsir in there. I'm not too sure. If someone could leave a message in the comments telling me if it, what's in there, I'd greatly appreciate that because I cannot remember. Uh, that might have been a little too close. I'm going to get another picture of Eevee up here. Uh, I know you can get some really good ones, especially if you use a pester ball. I love how cute it looks while it's playing with the, the rolled up Chansey. I think that's absolutely adorable. And I, I know you you need to use a pester ball on that Kangaskhan there to get it to turn around. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, stay centered. <laughs> oh, that poor little bastard. He was going to eat their eggs, too. Uh, poor Meowth. Can never catch a break. He's kind of like, you know, one of those cartoon thieves, almost. Well, I guess technically he is one of those cartoon thieves. You know, the ones that can, they can never get, like, they, they come up with, like, these great plans that they can never catch a break. Uh, I'll take that Pidgey. Oh. No, no, uh, there's a few more I want. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you can get a picture of Kangaskhan. Uh. Oh man, that's about as good as a Loch Ness Monster pick. Fuck you. There is no words I can use to describe my rage about that. It's like, erg. To Professor Oak. Yes, of course. I, I don't remember how you get to the next stage, but I hope this is it. Oh, it's so so. You know what, Professor Oak? Thank you for the constructive criticism. Oh, nice. Apparently my work is impeccable. Oh, I got... Oh, come on. I got closer that time. Ah, oh, come on. I, I think that... I think, I think my current picture is way better than my last one. My last one... Pff, not even a... Okay, I could have done better on that one. I, I always had difficulty getting getting Kangaskhan without the pester balls, because it's it's hard to it, like you have to make it turn around for the best kind best shot. See, even Professor Oak thinks that's hilarious. See. I knew for a fact that he'd like that one. And I, th I think I just unlocked the second stage. I'm not sure. Yes! Well, that that's it for now. But my next video will be tackling the tunnel. And it's a... It is my absolute favorite stage in the entire game. And I really hope you guys tune in and join me for that. Because it's going to be a magical journey for all of us. And it's it's my favorite part of the game. And it's one of my favorite parts in any game. So I hope you tune in next time. And yeah, I'll goodbye for now. Come back next time, please.